What's up guys, it's Andy with Andy's Angels. Today I have a little surprise for you. Well, not, not a huge surprise, not even a little surprise. You guys pretty much already know. We got babies guys, we got the angelfish baby. I mean, there are so many. Well, I mean, not that many, but. I don't know if you can see them swimming. This thing's not really focusing very well. So as you guys saw, they're free swimming. So that means just one thing. We gotta get the brine shrimp, so uh, we gotta get the whole setup out, and I will show you what everything does. So over here we got the whole setup. I bought these guys. There's some brine shrimp hatchers. They're very expensive. I can't remember how much, but a lot more, a lot expensive compared to what they are. Then we got the hoses. We got the uh, nozzles to control how much airflow in both of them. We got the uh, air thingy that is facing the wrong way right now I will have to fix that and the pump and the most important thing LED light to make the brine shrimp hatch as you get it so one of the main things we're gonna need for the brine shrimp is definitely the eggs gotta keep them refrigerated and the only place I know that keeps she refrigerated in my house. It's the refrigerator in the kitchen. So that's where I suggest you keep your brine shrimp. As so the way I hatch my shrimp is I do two tablespoons of, of salt, one fourth teaspoons of Epsom salt, one fourth teaspoons of baking soda, and then I do uh, one f a half teaspoon of eggs to that whole Thing. So you want to fill these guys up with some water and set your light directly above them You definitely want to do one first wait till the next day set the next one up But I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, salt and both of them and set the water up and let this one tumble Till tomorrow while I get the eggs to do the hatching in this one and once these hatch or Once these get ready, I'll go ahead and put these in so I just added the two tablespoons of salt to each and uh, now we go with the one fourth teaspoon of Epsom salt. All right, we got the Epsom salt. Make sure you get that pure Epsom salt. And now we go with the 1 4th teaspoon of baking soda. This is not required, but I like to add some baking soda to mine. It helps. So yeah, we do the same. Baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. I know you guys remember that song. All right, we over here mixing the baking soda. And now we add the famous eggs. So when it comes to the eggs, I just do a half teaspoon. And that's a lot of eggs. <laughs> I mean, you don't realize it so you dump them in here and what I do see they clumped up like that that's bad that's because there is um, moisture in my refrigerator but whatever it just messes with my hatch rate but what I do is I kind of mo monitor it for the first like 30 minutes or so or or I just let it be for an hour and I come back down here and I stir it up because these guys will kind of start floating up top and create a big ring and you want to get as many of these in here as you can so we'll come back in an hour and you'll see there's going to be a huge ring around here definitely got to turn the air up a little bit and get them 
Get them spinning. Let's turn the air up just a tad. There we go. But yeah, you guys will see here soon. You can already see the ring, but it'll get even worse. So we'll come back and check in in a minute and uh, stir them up and finish the process. And then the next video, it'll be me hatching them and feeding them. I have a little process that is like kind of homemade to get all the shells out to make sure you only feeding uh, brine shrimp. And I'm, I'm kind of uh, happy to be able to share this with you guys because I had uh, one of the guys that lives not too far from here that breeds angelfish, he told, he taught me how to make it to where you only get brine shrimp going in and you're not putting those nasty eggshells in your uh, tank where it's super bad and disgusting to clean. Look how beautiful this arowana looks right now. He bit my hand earlier, so I'm starting to get to where I can't even stick my hand in the tank because I've been feeding it shrimp and now like it wants to attack anything that goes in that tank, so I need to be careful. It didn't hurt this time. I don't know if it didn't get no clamp on or whatever, but it, it did strike, so. Yeah guys, we'll be back here in a minute for you guys. It'll be about an hour for me and we'll check on these brine shrimp. One big mistake you don't want to commit is forget these and leave them outside of your refrigerator, which I have done. I've left them for about two or three hours and then when I get back to them, it smells fishy and uh, now I get a lot more shells. So the uh, hatch rate has gone down. So you want to make sure you take care of your eggs and you don't forget them because you will mess with your hatch rate. So always make sure you put them back where they belong, which is somewhere cool and you don't forget about them. So now let's go check on our fish. It will be about an hour right now. So we're back and it's been about an hour and some, and you can see the whole ring all the way around. So what you wanna do is you wanna just keep pushing them down and these guys will, uh, yeah. And I mean, you'll catch another, there'll be another ring. So in the morning when I get up before work, I'll do the same thing, I'll stir it up. And you want it just enough where these guys aren't, they're not piling down here, but you don't want them to be floating everywhere. So yeah. Let's wait till tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow we'll check on this and see how it is. See if it's gotten any more orange than what it is now. Because once, once, the way you know if they hatch is right now they're brown, and once they hatch, they turn like super orange. So this will be really orange. So guys, I'm really stoked on all these like angelfish babies, and I'm stoked that I'm having to hatch brine shrimp again because it's been a minute for me so yeah uh, let's hope all these fish go well I'm gonna be moving them into the 10 gallon tank here soon well not today it's already it's 10 o'clock at night so and I still gotta edit this and I'll be posting this tomorrow but anyways um, I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you guys stick around for some more episodes uh, on Monday I'll be posting a video of me feeding them and whatever else I get into this weekend. And I might be doing a live. We'll see you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you later guys. Peace.